My name is Ash. I just graduated from Kona High School on the Big Island of Hawaii, and my pronouns are he, they. I've always been into like theater and like theatrics and drama and all that sorts. I joined the school Kona Broadcast my freshman year, and I just kept doing that, and here I am. The story that I did for Hikino was about my journey, about my gender discovery, and what it's like being trans in high school. I first came out as queer in seventh grade, but I hadn't realized I was trans until my freshman year. Coming out isn't an easy process. It's full of ups and downs, lots of questioning yourself, and debating whether or not it's safe to come out, depending on those around you. Something that people don't often realize is that gender and sexuality aren't binary. They're on a spectrum. With all the anti-trans legislation that's coming out around this time, I thought that it would be a really good idea to express that it's not like a scary thing. We're people. We just want to exist. I've known Ash for four years. And Ash has been in my uh, broadcast team uh, since Ash was a freshman. So I've been privileged to see Ash grow and evolve. So when I read Ash's story, oh, wow, this is, this is really good. And it was one of the easiest stories. Even though it was a challenging topic, it was one of the easiest stories to tell because Ash knew exactly what Ash wanted to say. Another obstacle I have is a lack of queer teaching at school. Currently, the school curriculum has one advisory lesson that covers the LGBTQ plus community, but it's such an important topic that one lesson doesn't cover much of the specifics. Because of that, many people don't often understand or aren't comfortable with the LGBTQ plus community. Ignorance often turns into hatred and bigotry, which makes the world even more unsafe for those who don't conform to the social norms of gender identity and expression. It is nerve-wracking to publicly come out as like queer in any way, shape, or form, because there's always going to be those people who will, will call you really bad names. You can't always tell who's anti-trans, anti-queer. It's just a lot. I've been out as queer for a while, since seventh grade, but um, that was just like to people around me, kind of. But to actively like make a full video that's going on like on TV is, it's a little bit more of added pressure. The purpose of the GSA is to create a place where students of all identities can feel safe regardless of who they are or how they appear. When the story came out, yeah, there were some negative comments on YouTube, but we weren't surprised. For us, we just wanted to make sure people understood that there's a journey that every child goes through. They need a chance to tell their story so we can understand and maybe, you know, we can all make this world a better place. With stories like this, there's positive comments, there's the negative comments. People are allowed to have opinions, even if I don't agree with them, and if I think they're hurtful. Some of them, there are times when I think that comments should be deleted, absolutely, 100%, but usually I'm, I, I'm for different opinions. I wanted people to like know we're the same as you, we're high school students, we're kids, we're turning into adults, we're gonna be queer adults, we're not going anywhere. We're just here, the same as you are. Hikino does give a platform to students to speak their truth, I guess, to share their stories, share another person's story. So for this platform to just be like mainly students telling stories, choosing their stories, like it's great to me. I really, really like it. Hikino is a very powerful tool for our students. It gives them a chance to express what's going on. It, it gives us insight into their world. The impact on our students is they feel empowered. Getting to see other queer people in like media, online, YouTube, Instagram, it's really something that helped me discover who I was.
so I'm hoping that other um, young people that are in high school discovering who they are, whether they're queer or not, um, I think that it is valuable for them to just learn about others' journeys. I want to go into journalism. I applied to the community college at, in, at Paloma Nui. Doing this story kind of also helped me, push me to actually going to college. It only strengthened my desire to go into journalism or a creative writing class at the very least. Again, I'm really honored that I got the opportunity to create this story, to share my story, to just express who I am to a wider audience.